Aloha, my name is Jessica. I'm the Education Director here at the Maui Ocean Center, and today we are joined by a special guest from inside of the tank. My name is Paul. I'm one of the divers here at our aquarium, taking some time out of the day to hang out with some of my favorite co-workers in our open ocean exhibit. All right, they are favorite co-workers indeed, and today we are going to be doing a creature feature on some of these interesting animals. They're very unique, and uh, Paul is going to talk a little bit about them. So right now we have five different species, and I like, as they're swimming around, to uh, talk about them if they swim in front or behind me. So let's see if we uh, are going to get lucky. Mm, Where's the shark when you need gray one? Gray reef sharks right behind me. Can you guys see that back there? So the gray reef shark can be identified by checking out the tail or the caudal fin. So on the trailing edge, they have this dark gray outline. Other than that, they don't have a whole lot of pattern on their body. So that's what we're looking for. You got to check out that tail. And who else do we have cruising by? We have some black tip reef sharks in here as well. Now, they're a little bit more easy to identify. How they get their name, as you can imagine, black tips to the fins. We also have some sandbar sharks. Now, sandbar sharks are kind of plain looking sharks, I think, as they don't have any markings on their body at all. But what they do have is on top of their back, their dorsal fin, very large, very tall in proportion to the rest of their body, much larger than any dorsal fin of our other species that we have in this exhibit. Now, we're probably not going to see them swimming around. We also have white tip reef sharks in here as well. And the reason they may not be swimming around is they're the only species in Hawaii that can lay on the bottom and take a nap. All the other sharks need to move forward to pass water across their gills and breathe. But the white tips actually have the ability to lay on the bottom and actively pump water across their gills. So I imagine they're probably taking a nap right now. Also, last but definitely not least, we have a juvenile female tiger shark in this exhibit right now. Now, as you can imagine, tiger sharks get their name because they have those tiger stripes along their body, but they actually don't start out as stripes. They start out as spots. And as they grow larger and larger, these spots elongate and stretch out into the stripes. So being that our tiger shark is a juvenile. She's kind of in between, has some spots, has some stripes, but keep your eyes peeled for that beautiful pattern to identify that species. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Paul, for explaining about the different types of species that we have inside of this exhibit today. Now, Paul, can you tell us a little bit about why it is important to see sharks in our waters? Oh yeah, that's a good topic to talk about. They are super important for the environment. And you know, sharks actually have a couple of roles out there. A lot of people already know that they are apex predators, meaning they're at the top of the food chain, regulating on fish populations from the top down. But they're actually also scavengers. They're gonna be going after the easiest meal opportunity because they wanna conserve their energy. And that ends up being fish and other animals in a compromised state. So maybe they're diseased, dying, ill, injured, basically not swimming as quickly, easier target. And by removing those individuals from the population, they're keeping everything healthy, in check, and balanced. So if we want healthy oceans, and if you guys like seafood, we want to keep our sharks around to keep everything healthy, balanced, and in check. Awesome. So we do have uh, a lot of important roles that our sharks fulfill in our oceans. Uh, thank you so much for explaining to us a little bit about that. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today for our creature feature. Thank you again to Paul for joining us from inside of the open ocean exhibit here at the Maui Ocean Center. Mahalo and uh, join us next week for our next creature feature.